So you think you want to move to the Huntsville area. Well, let's talk about what the real estate market is like in Huntsville, Alabama for November of 2022. Hey friends, it's Paula Tish, your favorite Huntsville realtor. And if you like these videos, please like and follow me on all the socials at List with Paula and right here on this YouTube channel. So everybody's talking about all the things in the real estate market. The real estate market is what is getting hit the hardest and the most dramatic uh, during this recession or inflation period or whatever we're going to call it. Today, I'm going to talk about what's happening right here in Huntsville, Alabama starting with sales price. So sales prices of homes have been on the rise. Way back in January of 2021, your average home price in Madison County, Alabama was about $250,000. And by January of 2022, that had risen to $300,000. And now here we are almost at the end of 2022 and the average sales price in Madison County is currently $334,000. And guess what? It is still going up. It's kind of doing this now a little bit, but it is not falling and it is not climbing really. It's just kind of doing this. For example, in July, it was like 350. And then in August, it was 330. And then in September, it was 340. And now in October, it's 333. So it's kind of doing that, but it is staying solid right there which is a good thing for actually buyers and sellers because this is making our market just sort of adjust itself to a little bit of normalcy, which can we all use a little bit of normalcy these days? Now, typically this time of year is a slowdown. People are going into the holidays. They don't want to move. They don't want to sell their house. Nobody wants to deal with that stuff. It's just too busy. And so typically this is a slowdown period. In fact, January, of this year was our lowest amount of homes closed for the entire year of 2022. And right on schedule for October, it has dropped to just over 500 homes closed in October. We were all the way up to 800 in one of the months in the summer. So this is definitely a slowdown, but again, typical for this time of year. The average days on market uh, for homes in Madison County has been on a steady incline since this summer. This summer, it was under 10 days for a house that was on the market, and now it's up around 14, 15 days. That being said, we are seeing homes on the market for 30, 45, 60 days. Things are sitting a lot longer. People are taking their time, buyers especially, before they are purchasing are taking a minute and not feeling quite so stressed about purchasing a home like we were a few months ago. I mean, let's be honest, a few months ago, you had to put in an offer within hours or you weren't gonna get that house. But today you have a little bit of time and this is really a nice reprieve for buyers and sellers and quite honestly agents, because it is giving us a more normalized market where people have time to make the biggest decisions of their lives. Now, the number of homes on the market has been on a steady incline all year long. I mean, it literally, it's like a, it's like a hockey stick. It's just, it's just going, just perfect little angle. Okay, just perfect. At the end of October, we had four, just over 1,400 homes for sale. And I imagine in November, we're gonna have just a little bit more and December, a little bit more. And it's just gonna make it better and better and better for buyers and sellers to work together. And because of this, we are seeing an increase in the number of months worth of homes. Remember, we've talked about the absorption rate. We are seeing an increase in that absorption rate. Whereas a few months ago, we had less than a month. I mean, we had weeks worth of properties that before we were going to run out. Now we're at two and a half months and we're moving up a little bit. Still nowhere near, nowhere near a buyer's market. But we are moving in that direction. And like I said, it's evening out. And as I mentioned, with the slowdown coming into the holidays, it's not a surprise that we have less listings on the market. However, what I can say about this is that people that put their houses in the market this, this time of year, they really wanna sell. 
And then people that are out purchasing homes at this time of year or shopping for homes this time of year, they really wanna buy. So this is a really good time to have the buyer and seller relationship kind of blend together because everybody has the same goal. There are less people shopping and more people purchasing. Here's where things are really starting to change for us. Since the beginning of 2022, you were going in to buy a house, getting everything was over list price. We were guessing at how much over list price things were gonna go for. It just kept going up and up and up. And now we are finding ourselves in a place where how's the percentage of list price that a house actually sells for is at or below the list price. Sometimes it's a tiny bit above or a little bit above, but we are no longer seeing the 20, 30, 40, $50,000 over list price chaos that we were seeing um, over the last year. So this makes things a lot simpler for buyers and sellers. The negotiation becomes a little more even. There are things to be discussed, like who's gonna pay for the closing costs? Who's gonna pay the settlement fees? Gosh, as a seller, maybe I could help buy down your interest rate and pay points. That's like unheard of. So this is where we're seeing the percentage of list price come back down and be at or below 100% of list price. And last but not least, um, I have a stat of shows required to a contract. Previously, you would put a house on the market and the showings were booked all weekend long into the next week. I mean, just tons and tons and tons of showings. Now things have slowed down because again, like I said, we have more serious buyers and serious sellers this time of year. And so you're not gonna get as many showings on your property. For example, I have a property that I listed this weekend and we probably had six or eight showings over the three to four day weekend. I think that's Fabulous. That's a great amount. We had great traffic for the weekend. Previously, if I wasn't booked with 20 plus showings, I would have been freaked out. But things have changed and slowed down. And again, these six to eight showings are serious buyers. They're actually looking to purchase right now. And so I want them as opposed to the 25 or 30 showings of tire kickers or foundation kickers as we like to call them. The real estate market in Huntsville is great. The In Madison County, the interest rates are leveling off and even came down a tiny bit over the weekend. That's awesome. There are opportunities for um, buying down your rate, having the seller buy down your rate, things like that. New construction is a great option for a lot of people. And so I just wanna encourage you, if you are thinking or considering buying a new property in the next couple months, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get out there and give it a try. And I would love to help you. So give me a call or shoot me a text and we will get started. And I want you to love where you live. Music